Okay, y'all wouldn't believe this, but this is actually like the third time I've done this one video because I keep on screwing it up, saying the wrong things, or, you know, couldn't get my facts straight, but I finally got my facts straight. So here we go again. I'm at the BLM campground in Carrizozo, New Mexico. It's got reservation sites. It's also got first serve sites. Okay, I'll give you all a rundown of the sites and I'll show you the board and everything later on in the video, the prices and all that good stuff because I have them in an old video and I'm going to take them out of the old video and add them to this video. But they have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have ten reserve sites and then they have nine sites that are first come, first serve. And then they got... um. 23, 25, or 10 only, no electricity. I think they're first come, first served. I'm really not sure. But uh, they're going through uh, recreation.gov now. The first night, you got to pay a service fee of $8. After that, it's $9 a night. So your first night, you will be paying $17. And then on after that, you'll be paying $9. Now, if you come to a uh, first come, first serve site, you can pull in there, you don't have to pay that reservation fee of $8, and it's $9, and you just... I'm now at BLM Campground at Carrizozo, New Mexico. Um, it's called the Valley of Fire. It's really nice, as you can see the scenery behind me. I've spent quite a bit of time here off and on, but they've gone to the reservation system in the last couple of years, so they have, they have 27 sites grand total in the campground. And um, 20 through 25 are tent only sites, but mainly we're going to be talking about the RV sites because RVs can't go down the tent section. So in the RV section, you have 20 campsites. Um, I think 11 of them are reservable, and then 9 of them are first come, first served. They're using recreation.gov, so your first night, you go pay an $8 fee. So the first night's gonna be seventeen dollars, and every night after that's gonna be nine dollars. Okay, the first come, first served. If it's got a green thing saying it's open, you can pull right on in and reserve that spot. But you have to make sure you go online and reserve it, and pay that eight dollar fee the first night, and then have, you're allowed to stay up to fourteen days there. So you have to go ahead and pay for it and make sure you reserve it, even though it's first come, first served you got to make sure you reserve it because some so anyway that's the way it works now I mean we used to stay here a lot but they have water they have electric I'll show you around the site you got a fire pit I got a trash can it's a beautiful campground it's only like four miles from Carrizozo and I think Rio Dosis is I think by the day it was a round trip for me was like 80 miles, but I, I went through Rio Dosis itself and then I came down 37. So you get to Walmart, you know, 40 miles and turn around, drive back to camp 40 miles. But overall, it's a, it's a real nice camp bound, has beautiful um, bathrooms, has a real nice shower, it's push button shower. The only hang up I see with that is you, about every 15, 20 seconds you have to push a button, but it does have hot water. Uh, they keep the bathrooms real clean. They got a great camp host here. His name is Daniel. I believe he's been doing this for like six years and he's I think he told me he's like he's here six or seven months each year. He keeps track of everything, keeps everything running smooth, keeps everybody in line as far as, you know, don't drive too fast on the main drag and you know, don't get loud at night or whatever. He's he's a great camp host, he really is, friendly guy. He stops and talks to everybody, but let me show you around the side a little bit, give y'all an idea what it looks like. I'm going to, um, I was going to give y'all a rundown of the reservation sites. I guess I can do that. Like, site one is overnight. Site two is reservation. Site three is reservation. Site four is first come, first served. Site five is reservations. Site six is reservations. Site seven is first come, first served. Site 8 is first come, first serve. Site 9 is reservation. Site 10 is first come, first serve. Site 11 is first come, first serve. Site 12 is reserve only. Site 13 is 
uh, first come first serve, site 14 is reserved, site 15 is reserved, 16 is first come first serve, no electric, site 17 reserved, no electric there too, site 18 reserved, no electric there, site 19 first come first serve, no electric, but in the whole park your site number 19 got your best reception for TV because it's, it's kind of like sitting up there on top of the hill so if you're a TV watcher you might want to go up there if you don't mind not having an electric if you got solar I'm at 12 right now I don't have any TV whatsoever I do have real good Wi-Fi I got phone service but I was talking to my neighbor that was up there in um, 13 and he had great TV so I guess I'm like sitting down in a hole or either I don't have a strong enough antenna but let me show you around the campsite let me show you what it's like okay I'm looking at the back of my campsite and as you can see I'm in the handicapped spot there's my electric right there it's a long stretch I, I it took up 25 feet of my cord there's my water uh, one cord the extension cords going into my refrigerator freezer but you can see how much uh, cord I needed to get to that that box right there this this campsite here 13 the receptacle is way down here and you camp up there on the hill so you better have a long extension cord back behind me of course I got my picnic table got my barbecue pit got my trash can right there got my fire pit but I mean look at the view you got isn't that a beautiful view pretty unreal ain't it and the weather's not bad here I mean it does get real windy but you can see the campground is pretty nice it usually stays pretty full but Look at that view. And you're only like four miles from Carrizozo, and Carrizozo's got almost everything you, you can think about. I mean, they got gas food, little gas station, but if you check out 12th Street, that's where all the artist people are, and they got all kind of colorful donkeys and shops and stuff like that, but yeah, there's a front, front view. Y'all have to excuse my trash bag right there. There's my front view right there. Sweet, isn't it? This is what I'm talking about. The sign will be reservation site. It'll be either say reservation sites and it'll, it'll be red or it'll say open. And that means it's first come, first served. And then, you know, take it from there. But they've also gone to the scan code right there where you can actually scan off the pole. And that way you don't have to call recreation.gov. But... I'm not real good at doing that stuff, so I just call and reserve it. But anyway, I mean, that's the new video I made on the BLM campground. And uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully I informed you on all the changes and everything that's going on here. And hopefully I got my facts right this time. But if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you down the road. And like I said, I'm going to take bits and pieces of the other video and add to this video. And for the third time, I'll upload it and see if I got it straight this time. But enjoy and appreciate you watching my videos once again. Have a great one. Okay, this is my campsite right here. I'm in site two. I do have electric. I do have water. Um, I got a fire pit. Let me turn it around and show you what we got in front of me. Okay, I got my canopy. Got my trash can. Got my barbecue. Look at that scenery. Isn't that beautiful? And they got a trail down there y'all can walk if you want. But what a view. Beautiful. This is a BLM campground. I think I've already stated all that. But look at the view you got. Isn't that pretty? And behind me you got snow-capped mountains. But yeah, pretty nice. See if I can give you all a close-up. See the snow caps over there? Beautiful out here. New Mexico... I'm always saying how pretty it is, but it is really a pretty state. It's got a little bit of everything in it except green grass, but other than that, it's got it all. But those first snow-capped mountains I've seen in about two years now, so I'll just sit here and stare at it. 
Okay, I'm down here at the information board, and it's changed too. This is a brand new board right here, but there's all your prices. Camping RV sites 18, primitive water only 12, tent site 7, group shelter 25, single person day use 3, dump station 15, showers for non guests $6, and you got that um, scanning stuff now. And here's all the information, recreation.gov information right there. I guess you could stop and read it if you wanted to. Just pause the video. And then here you go, some more information right there. That's a good look at the map right there. Get a little closer so y'all can see it a little bit more. But there you go. So this is where I'm at now, Valley of Fire, Carrizozo, New Mexico. It's right off of 380 at Carrizozo. You just take a right and brings you on down here. And there you go. There's pay board and there's your pay to, but I'm gonna walk on back up into camp now. I'm back in the camper because I had to come in here and check on my little man. He getting him some good sleep today. Yeah. Little man, you getting some good sleep? Say yes I am, Diddy. You wanna come outside, baby? Come on. Come on. Come on, little man. He loves it outside. Anyway, this is definitely going to be the end of the video. But if y'all would like to support our channel, I put the links down below. I have Patreon. I also have PayPal. I appreciate your support. I mean, it keeps us going out here. It helps out with the gas and camping fees and all that good stuff. But once again, I just want to thank you for watching my videos. And I hope you enjoy them. Have a great day. See you down the road, maybe. He went back, got back in his bed. He must not want to come outside today. Usually if I'm outside the camper, he'll jump right on out there with me. Come on, baby. It just takes a little persuading to get him to come outside, but there he goes. Oh, sniffing. He wanders all over the place. Where you going, baby boy? He likes that concrete pad because I don't worry about him getting any goat heads in his paws, so it works out real good for him but okay i guess i'm gonna go ahead and upload this and see what i got